Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we've got the Taurus Tracker 692 multi-caliber. Comes with two cylinders. This one shoots 38 Special and 357 Magnum. The other one shoots 9mm. Three inch barrel. Holds seven rounds. So we're gonna start with 38 Special. Let's see how it does. It's an overbuilt Revolver. All right. Seven loads of 38 special. They also make this with a six and a half inch barrel. This is the three inch model. You can see that it is overbuilt. Very strong. Doesn't have a rubber grip there, rather spongy. Double action. Single action firearm. I mentioned in my table review that the single action, it's not one of those real light triggers. It measures right around uh, six and a half pounds. Uh, full underlug there and ports in the barrel. All right, four ports on each side. Adjustable rear sights and a ramped up pinned front sight with an orange insert. Now a couple of those that I missed, I found myself shooting a little bit low. So we're going to check it out. I'm going to load it up right now with 357 Magnum. I really think that this gun is going to handle the 357 Magnum fine. It weighs loaded just under 37 ounces. So that's, it's got some girth to it. It's, I mentioned that it's overbuilt. I guess that's the best way to describe it. It is, it's a strong and, and heavy revolver made to handle a beating it's certainly a good looking revolver they also make this in a blued model this is the stainless steel model a little bit of a matte finish on there let me shoot the first couple in double action then we'll go to single action and see how it goes about 10 yards away here let's see i'm going to try not to shoot low which is what i did the first time i shot with the 38 special there we go nice Oh, I love it. We'll go single action. Nice. <laughs> I shot that last shot. I, I got to be honest with you guys. I was used to a six shot. This is a seven shot. So you saw me take that last shot. Um, I always take a shot afterward to make sure that every round fired and you know if you're used to six shots this is a seven shot and so i'm glad i did that and i hit the target each and every time so i adjusted the sight i didn't shoot low that time and this has a real nice feel to it and i'm very happy with it i'm going to change out the cylinder and in doing so i'm going to push this button and pull forward and off comes the cylinder for 38 special and 357 magnum i'm going to go get the nine millimeter I've got some mood clips uh, with 9mm loaded up, but a lot of you guys said the headspace may be uh, close enough where I won't need the mood clip, so we're gonna check that out as well. You saw me take off the other cylinder. Here is the 9mm cylinder. Just gonna put this arm right here into the slot, push this button, drop it, and now it is all set to shoot 9mm. I've got some regular target loads on a moon clip here. Let's go ahead and fire these and then we'll check out the difference with some target or some uh, self-defense loads. All right. And there they are. The cases remain in the moon clips. Many of you guys wanted me to see if this would fire without using the moon clips. So we're going to try that right now. Now these are LTEC self-defense loads. They are not falling through, which I didn't expect, but the 9mm is a rimless cartridge. So we're going to take a look at that and see if these will work without the moon clips. Many guys, and I mean many, said they wanted to see that and i'm going to take a guess here and say that I, I think it will so let's take a look and see what happens 
Yep. All right, you guys were right. You do not need moon clips. Okay, now here's the problem though. I'm noticing that the uh, ejector isn't isn't grabbing a hold of what which would be the moon clip to eject the cases but you can pull them out with your fingers no problem i'm sticking with the nine millimeter cylinder let me try to roll through these targets a little quicker all in double action wow i like this revolver 158 grain Cellular and Beloy 357 Magnum. Here we are 15 yards away. I've got 38 special loaded up in a 692 multi caliber. Let's see how it goes. Down below. Feeling really, really confident with this. So there it is, Taurus Tracker 692. The MSRP on this is the same as the bottle number, 692. Average gun store price that I've seen right around 520. Comes with two cylinders, it fires 357, 38 special, and 9mm, and it performed just as I hoped it would at the range. I also hope that it answered some of the questions that you guys had. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.